Now our top story tonight, with 54 constituencies out of 80 now official, former Prime Minister Tom Tabane's All Basutu Convention is leading with 42. This was expected as the party enjoys support in Lesotho's capital, Masiru, and uh, peri-urban areas. The Electoral Commission in Lesotho is expected to publish the final results by tomorrow, of course, after polling on Saturday. Well, Deputy Prime Minister Motejo Mitsing has retained in his constituency his former Secretary General, now leader of the Movement for Economic Change, Selibe Mochoborane has also won his Tabana Morena. The only woman leader of the opposition, a reformed Congress of Lesotho, Keketo Ramso, has uh, lost her Taung constituency. Election observers in Lesotho have raised concern over the overlapping roles between the army and the police. This after Lesotho's IEC expressed shock that the army had been deployed at polling stations. And this is contrary to earlier undertakings that the army would only be transporting voting materials uh, to hard to reach areas. All right, so let's just put this in context. Lesotho has been very unstable. Uh, the Prime Minister, Mosesidi, uh, declared, uh, will dissolve Parliament recently after a no-confidence vote that triggered fresh polls. Now, these are the third in just uh, five years. So, so a lot of change in leadership at one stage. The army uh, stepped in. And now, as you heard there, marring the election on Saturday was the deployment of soldiers to Poland stations. Well, for an update now, we're joined on the line by our correspondent Ntakwana Gatane, who's in Masiru. Uh, uh, is, is the final picture becoming clear? It looks like we, we can basically declare that Tom Tabane uh, is in the lead. Well, uh, it, it's a complicated electoral model, Francis, because we can't necessarily say he has won until the other proportional representation seats have been awarded, and those are compensatory. So depending on how much votes you get nationally, uh, they will then uh, compensate you for the, for the ones that you didn't get in the constituency. Now, the, the, the votes that are coming in now, the results that are coming in now are constituency results for 80 constituencies. And this is where we know that regardless of what margin you've won, as long as you're in the lead, you get that constituency. But then you will then have to wait for the other 40 in order for us to know uh, if you have 61, which is 50% plus one of the majority of the 120 seats of parliament. Francis? If there's no majority, what happens? One of the reasons uh, we often say Lesotho is unstable is because you always seem to have a coalition. People have to work together. I think one has to look at the numbers now. And for instance, we have out of the 65 seats that have already come through to the results center, 43 of those have gone to the Oba Soto Convention. 16 have gone to the Democratic Congress, the Prime Minister's Party, one Lesotho Congress for Democracy, one Movement for Economic Change, one Alliance of Democrats, and one Popular Front for Democracy. Now, if you look at the cross-section, the Obasutu Convention, Alliance of Democrats, are likely to form a coalition, and that would be 43 plus one already that we're talking about. Now, the other side, the DC, the LCD, the PFD, are likely to form an alliance with other smaller parties. And if we look at their total vote currently, we're looking at 18. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, depending on how many each uh, party gets, they would then have to sit down with other parties. Like, for instance, the coalition government that we have now was made up of 65 seats from seven political parties. So it depends on whether these uh, political parties will want to go into a coalition of the opposition or of the ruling government now, or if they will buy Tom Tabane and Munyana Muleleki's story to make up a government of national unity. Uh, and they're saying they want that because Lesotho needs to go through reforms, and in order for those reforms to happen, you need two-thirds majority in the National Assembly, and the 61 seats won't do it. Francis? 
All right, so, so it's up in the air at the moment, uh, but the Orbasutu Convention, which is Tom Tabane's party, in the lead, uh, and he has an interesting relationship with the army, doesn't he? Uh, it, it was presumed that if he did not win, he would uh, challenge this election because soldiers were deployed. Uh, he's even toyed with the idea of, of disbanding the army. Uh, how, how is that relationship looking after soldiers were deployed? deployed on Saturday? Well, there really is no love lost between uh, Tom Tabani and the army Francis. In fact, uh, if you remember correctly, in 2014, the reason his government ended up collapsing, uh, he says, is because then um, Commander Tariqa Moody uh, had uh, attempted a coup. And following that, he fled the country, uh, came back into the opposition, but a few months later, after the new government was in power, he fled again. Uh, this was in May 2015, and he left for nearly two years. He only just come, he, he only, he's only just come back in February. And when he came back, he did uh, insist that he still doesn't feel safe in the country, but he feels that it is more important for him to come and campaign and get the, back, the country back on track. He had the assurance of Munyane Muleleki that uh, he would break away from the Democratic Congress. And yes, you are right. Uh, his rhetoric is that, in fact, uh, the army is out of control. And uh, I think he uh, echoes the sentiment of the Sadak Observer mission today that the army needs to be reformed and it's the law that governs the army and needs to be reviewed so that it can be responsible and accountable to the civilian authority in the future. Finally, uh, Ntakwana, we were, as South Africa, involved in some talks. I remember after he was ousted by, by the soldiers uh, a couple of years ago. What, what do you think South Africa's interest in, in this poll might be? Well, Francis, if you look at the relationship between Lesotho and South Africa, uh, for Lesotho, it depends on South Africa economically. 90%, if I'm not wrong, of goods that come into Lesotho are imported from South Africa. South Africa provides lots of jobs for Basotho, education, health services. Uh, but also, if you look at the other way around, the water that goes to the heartland of the economy of South Africa, Houting, comes from Lesotho. And we saw in 1998 when there were riots in Lesotho, uh, when South Africa came in, with uh, and or under the Sadat banner, uh, the first area that South Africa secured were the dams. So I think if you look at that and, and what it is uh, for South Africa that is interesting or why Lesotho should be stable as far as South Africa is concerned, that will probably be the first one. But also because of the dependency of Lesotho on South Africa and how South Africa has to accommodate Basotho in South Africa, it is in the interest of South Africa to ensure that Lesotho is able to provide for its own people, whether it is economically or with service delivery, uh, whatever it is. All Thank right. You. Thank you so much, Ntakwana Gatana, on the line from Maseru in Lesotho. So it looks like Thomas Tabane uh, in the lead, but without a, a huge uh, majority, there's going to be another coalition government in Lesotho. We'll bring those final counts to you as they become available.